as an artist, what I'm trying to say, you know, in a, I think most people believe artists have a message, and my only message is really, isn't this a beautiful planet? That's all I'm trying to portray. I just want people to stop and go, jeepers, we do live on a pretty planet. So what usually makes you stop and say, I need to paint this? Just anything with good light on it. <laughs> <laughs> really, you drive to the same place day after day and all of a sudden one time there's just light on something that is isolated and looks dramatic and all I'm ever really looking for is just a little bit of drama in the lighting. Something to hang your hat on. And so I really, kind of as a youngster, knew someday I would paint because I was really uh, impressed with the paintings of Paul Grimm that were all over town. And I drew and I took high school art and that kind of thing and I knew I would paint someday. And so right away, I just went after desert landscapes because that's what I loved as a kid. Getting into it in the uh, early 2000s that Thomas Kincaid was so hot and he had to paint these little cottages with warm lights in them all the time because everybody loved them. I thought that's a kind of prison to have to paint the same thing all the time. So I expanded then and decided I'm not going to get stuck just doing desert landscapes. I started painting more cars and buildings and really just start painting anything that struck me and, uh, mm -hmm. and that's kept it really fun. People still prefer to buy the desert landscapes, but, but I pull in uh, interest from a more diverse crowd by having a wider range of subjects and it just really keeps it fun for me. I don't want to wind up like Thomas Kincaid. <laughs>